Hello everyone and welcome to another hammer video. Um, the official version of the Gary's Mod Hammer++ Plus Plus build has been released and this video is going to show you how to install it and um, that's basically it. So I'm going to leave this link in the description. This is the official GitHub page for Hammer++ Plus Plus, and head over to the download section here and then scroll down and you'll find Gary's Mod. And you can download it, open the zip, and it basically gives you instructions here, but I'm just making a video for it, okay? First things first, you want to make sure your Gary's mod is set to the 64-bit version. So you want to go to Gary's mod here, go to properties, and then go to betas, and then go to the x84 slash, uh, or the dash 64 chromium version. Your game will need to update so let it do that so once your game is done downloading the x84 version you want to go to manage browse local files and then in here you want to go to bin and find win64 and then in here you want to put um, as a matter of fact the zip already comes with the directory so all you need to really do is drag this bin folder and extract it into your just plain Gary's Mod uh, folder, the the capital one, because there's two, there's the lowercase and the cap. Just extract it into here, and it'll automatically merge into your uh, bin. So I already have like an older build, but I'm just gonna replace it because you know it's a new thing. All right. So now Hammer Plus Plus is basically installed. So you want to go to the directory which is bin win64 you want to open hammer plus plus dot exe all right so i believe i already set up the configuration but last time i was on here you need to configure all of this stuff um, i'm not sure if it's still like that but anyways here is uh the basic options this is the game data file so if you go to add you want to go to Gary's Mod bin, and then you have all your FGD files here. FGD files are essentially what defines the entities in your in a hammer. So the base.fgd has like info player start, you know, all the the base entities, you know. And then I have some like custom ones I've made over time. Um, basically, add all your FGDs, and then all your entities will appear. Uh, and then set your default uh, classes. Your scales, your light map scales, chord and texture, whatever. And then set these to the same as I have here, essentially. Um general, you can uh, you can change all your stuff. Auto save, undo levels. I suggest putting the undo levels high, but you do you. Um and then build programs is another important one. You want to basically do what I have here. Um this is basically setting your map compilers to the right um ones so you have vbsp vviz and rad which is all used to compile your map um yeah basically just copy what i have here again and then you can it's just customization you know to your liking you want to do whatever you want here and then once you got that done it should all work and you can make like a new file and look this is gary's mod and i will show you by using for example, I don't know, the sky paint entity. There it is. Uh, this is Gary's mod. So, yeah, it's really that simple. And um, if you guys have any problems with it, ask me in the comments and I will do my best to respond. I don't know the answer to every single problem, but I will still try to help. Um, yeah, if you if this helped you, I'd appreciate it if you left a like on the video, but um yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in another video sometime eventually bye